All right, let's talk foundation. That's like everyone's favorite thing to see when I do videos, they wanna see coverage of like our foundations. And you guys, we have so many different ones that like you can suit any need that you need. And that's what I love. There's not just one size fits all. So my ride or die, of course, is the VFX Pro. This is full coverage, super lightweight. And we're gonna use this one today. But we also have a serum, which is ideal for mature and dry skin. This is more of a medium coverage, but you can build it to a full. I've done that before because I really like full coverage. We also have the Stay Matte. And this is really good if you have oily skin. It helps with shine. It helps um, minimize your pores. It's oil-free. I honestly use this, and I love this, and I have dry skin. So that's the thing. I use all of these, and I'm like, cool. I love it. <laughs> um, we also have a CC Cream, which is a color corrector. Um, these I feel are more medium coverage, but again, you can build these to full coverage. So this is really good if you have like a lot of redness, you want to color correct. I love using the CC cream, which I really didn't think I was going to. We also have a BB cream, which is pretty much a beauty balm. It's a tinted moisturizer. So for having like dry skin, a BB cream is the way to go, especially if you just want like just a light coverage especially like during the summer when you're all sweaty and stuff you just want to like put something on really quick and get out the door bb cream is the way to go so we also have a cream to powder which is called the padded cream it comes in a compact it has a little sponge with it throw it away um so this goes on as a cream it kind of dries to a powder um it's good for all skin types me personally my skin is so dry i don't use this very much because i feel like it almost accentuated it a little bit more but to each their own I'm not going to bash it. I just don't use it a lot. I will use it to show everyone coverage because the coverage is really good. But it's all cute and a little compact. We also have a couple powders. So this is the Terracotta Porcelain Powder. This is like the light to medium. And then we have like a medium to dark. You guys, this is a full coverage powder. I mean, it's like full coverage. I will use it in a little bit over my concealer to show you. But you can use this and just a sponge and put it on. You can use it with a brush. And this gives you like an airbrush look. And it's powder. Some people just love to use powders and not liquid. So that's the way to go. We also have the Face Perfecting Press Powder. This is more like a sheer coverage. Um, there's so many different shades. You can use this to set your foundation if you want to. Um, but it is kind of sheer. So it's not something I would use on its own. I would pair it with something. But we also have that. And we have a translucent powder as well to set your foundation. We have a lot of stuff. So let's get to it. So we're gonna do foundation in this part. We have two different primers. You have to prime your skin, you guys. One, it's gonna help smooth over your pores and imperfections. It's going to give your face a nice base for foundation to stick to. So we have two different ones. This is our VFX Pro primer. This is more of a silicone based primer. And then we have the VFX Pro Illuminating Strobe Primer. This is my favorite. So it has a little bit of like an illumination to it, which I like, but it's also more moisturizer based. Um, so I like it more because I do have such dry skin. I showed you the pretty one. I'm about to use the one that's like almost empty. So I honestly use like maybe a little dollop like this and I just kind of put it everywhere. And it smells really good. What's going on with my life right now? <laughs> Okay, so we're going to rub this in. Now, you don't want to rub super hard because if you rub super hard on areas where you have thin skin, like underneath your eyes, you're going to stretch that skin. You're going to make more wrinkles for yourself. And that's hard for me because I'm so heavy handed with stuff that I really have to sit here and concentrate and try not to like make more wrinkles because I'm a little wrinkly. So we're going to let that set in for a minute. Now, VFX Pro again. This is our most expensive foundation, and this is $24.90. I'm sorry, what? It's going to last a very long time. We have multiple shades. I actually can wear about three of these shades, but 04 matches me really well. It's for people that are fair but have, like, pink undertones because I do have some, like, redness. This is perfection. So, my mom puts it on with her fingers and her hands and just puts it on like a normal liquid like people have done for centuries. But um, you can use a sponge. I... Honestly, I'm obsessed with using a brush now. So this is a Morphe brush. It's a Jaclyn Hill brush, but it's it's fluffy, but it's got some strength to it. Ah, whatever. So that way when you put it on, it's not just like doing this. It's like keeping its shape and pushing it into the skin. 
So we're gonna do three pumps, okay? And then I like to kind of just put it everywhere and then we'll go in and like blend it out. So I like to use the brush to get the product everywhere and get it sort of blended. And then if I need to, I'll go back in with a damp sponge and just perfect it a little bit more. Always try to use a damp sponge sometimes for work. I'm just like busy and not in the mood to like go get it wet. So I'll use a dry sponge, but a damp sponge, it helps it not absorb as much product when it's damp because it's already absorbed the water. There's a trick there. So, you know, give that a try. Okay, so, voila. So I'm gonna go in with my sponge and we are going to just Kind of just go over it lightly. It's pretty blended, but just to make sure, because you know, we got to look flawless. Okay, so that is that. It took three pumps to do my whole face. All of my redness is gone. Don't mind this. We're going to conceal it in the next video, so don't worry about it. But just beautiful. It's really lightweight. One time, I it was like late at night, and I went to the restroom, and I looked, I go, my makeup is still on. I honestly thought I washed it off because it felt like I had nothing on my face. And that's the kind of makeup I like. I don't want to feel like I have a bunch of makeup slapped on my face. It is not a good look for me. All right. Okay. So that's it for the foundation. So the next video, we're going to do some highlighting and contouring and then we'll just keep going. All right. I'll see you in a minute.